Hey, beautiful people, Samson Williams here. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about blockchain training because everyone has been asking what does the future of blockchain look like. It actually all starts with training. So we're actually just going to jump right into it because it's pretty straightforward and simple. Uh, you've got the developers. Those are the techie guys, right? Those are the Marios and Luigis. They're the future plumbers. They're the plumbers who's building the future of the Internet 3.0. Uh, if you want to become a blockchain developer or techie person, you're going to go to a three to five day uh, boot camp followed by a longer three to four month boot camp to teach you to develop your skill set. It's actually not that uh, complicated. It's very similar if you want to become a Python developer or not a code in Raspberry Pi, you're going to go to some sort of a boot camp. Um, there's specific boot camps out there that you can check out. Uh, we're going to write down Chain House. Uh, you can go to Chainhouse. They're special. They're a Python shop, but they also special specialize in uh, uh, R3's Quora as well as other blockchain uh, programming languages. Or you can check out uh, the Blockchain Training Alliance with my brother from another mother, Chris Bennett. Looks just like me, except he's a white guy with a big beard. Um, developers, you're going to get solid jobs making 150, 300k a year at some company who wants to develop or maintain the blockchain infrastructure. Next is comes legal. Why is legal on the board? Because when we say legal, we should actually probably write compliance. Compliance. Blockchain compliance. Just because you can build something, the Marios and Luigi's, those plumbers of the future, doesn't mean it's going to be compliant to the FCC, uh, CFPB, um, SEC, and CFTC. All the acronyms combined. Um, it's got to focus on compliance. And does it actually work or integrate up and downstream? There are some architects in here, but we're just going to call them the techie folks. So legal and compliance. It's your next big plug or your next big bucket. And of course, you want to go to uh, the University of New Hampshire uh, Law School for our blockchain cryptocurrency and the law certification because that's just a shameless plug. And it's us, it is also the future of all things awesomeness if you're not a developer. And again, you don't need to be a lawyer to be in compliance. Uh, you might be a risk person or a banking and finance. You just need to know from a, from a legal perspective, what does the future of blockchain look like? The next is intro to blockchain. Why intro? Very similar reason why you might get an introduction to the cloud. Uh, the thing is, none of this stuff, blockchain AI, uh, voice, machine learning, none of it works without the cloud. And what do you know about the cloud? See? So you might want to take a blockchain introduction as well as a cloud introduction. And this is actually for you vendor managers out there. This is for vendor management. Because right now you can go to Amazon and they you can put blockchain in a cart and they will blockchain whatever your business is for you. So you're not going to be a developer. You're not going to be on the legal side of things. You're just going to be a vendor manager. You might actually come to the compliance side so that you can better understand what exactly are these techies building from a legal and compliance perspective, as well as a risk perspective. So that's it for the moment. Blockchain trainings, it actually is going to determine the future of blockchain. Remember, uh, cryptocurrencies are to blockchain as porn is to the internet. We found out you can do far more with the internet other than stream porn. So too with blockchains, the end all and, the end all and be all of blockchain is not cryptocurrencies. It's just the easy, cryptocurrencies are just the easiest way to use blockchain technology. You'll learn that when you come to one of our training classes, whether it's any of these three. So that's it for the moment. Hope you guys are having a fabulous day. If you have any questions or comments, drop it down below. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for tagging. And we'll see you in the next episode because we're going to talk about LibraCoin. Facebook. LibraCoin. They created their own new programming language called Move. We can argue whether it is or is not blockchain or decentralized ledger technology, but Facebook LibraCoin is actually going to have an impact on what you think of as blockchain. So stay tuned for that. And again, thanks for listening. Peace.